That was uh, Faking It by Calvin Harris, Kalani, and Lil Yachty. And I've just been really feeling that song. What's up guys, Jason Gruber coming at you with another video. And this is a video that I have been meaning to make for a long time. It's a very anticipated video by many of my viewers. And as you can see from the title, this is a in-depth look and review at the Acne Studio Mustang glasses in the white colorway. Now I've had these sunglasses for a while. I've actually had them since New York Fashion Week. I got them right at the end of it when I was leaving, so I didn't actually wear them in my Fashion Week photos, but I did cop these from Opening Ceremony, which is a store in New York City. I'll have the link down below if you wanna check out their site. And ever since I've gotten these, I've gotten a lot of mixed opinions on them, but mostly a lot of people that have really been asking me Where'd you get those? What kind of sunglasses are those? Blah, blah, blah. I've, I've seen those around Instagram by a crap ton of people and I've really been wanting to get them. Most people will say the Kurt Cobain sunglasses, which they refer to these as those. I'll put up some pictures around the screen, but Kurt Cobain did wear these kind of sunglasses uh, a lot, like very frequently. So he did popularize these, but like now mostly rappers wear these a lot. Like Takeoff from Migos wears them all the time, Wiz Khalifa, and like a bunch of other rappers. Most people will call me a hype beast for buying these from Opening Ceremony. These are the Acne Studio ones. And I'm not gonna say Acne Studios invented this design. I don't really know exactly where it started from. Like I know Saint Laurent made like a pair of these, which also like a lot of rappers wear, but these are the Acne Studio ones. These do retail for $320. That is why I paid for them. You guys might call me ridiculous, but they are absolutely amazing. I love these sunglasses. And you're probably wondering why didn't I buy like a cheaper pair? Cause like a bunch of brands basically just copy this exact silhouette and make it into a cheaper version. But what really made me want these glasses for like over a year was the popular YouTuber, Luca Fursco. When I first saw his video on these and just like his pictures on his Instagram, I like fell in love with them instantly. And he's, he did get the acting studio ones, so I just had to get those ones. Side note, what the hell happened to Luca Fersco? Like, he dropped off the face of the earth. I understand, like, him wanting to restart his channel and stuff, but he didn't have to delete all his videos and all his pictures on Instagram. Like, he's, like, my style icon, and I have no idea what he's doing nowadays. But yeah, enough of that mini rant. But Luca Fursco is the person that really made me first want to get these before I saw any rappers actually wear them, before I even knew Kurt Cobain actually wore them. These I first saw on Luca Fursco. So shout out to him. He's probably the reason now I'm broke because of these. But stay tuned for the video that's gonna come after this, which will be a comparison video between these Acne Studios Mustang glasses for $320 and uh, basically the same exact looking pair by Urban Outfitters for $18, which I actually have in this box right here. And I'm gonna be doing that video right after this one, so stay tuned. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below so you know when that video is posted. But in this video, I'm gonna show you all around these sunglasses, the packaging, what comes with them, and then I'll show you what they look like when someone wears them. But to start off this video, I wanna say that these are absolutely 100% ridiculously expensive sunglasses, but it's my personal choice to buy them. So I know I'm probably gonna get some hate comments saying like, all oh, your stupid effing hype beast for buying those. I don't care, I bought them, my money. I absolutely love them. So without further ado, let's get into this review on the Acne Studio Mustang glasses in white. So starting off this review, we're gonna get straight into the packaging, which I absolutely love. I've never seen any sunglasses come in this kind of packaging and the case is absolutely beautiful. I was gonna go to the desk for this, but I'll just show you in front of the camera, which is easier. So here's just a look at the box right here that the sunglasses come in. As you can see right here, just says Acne Studio in black, all white, around the box, nothing on the sides, except for the left side, which has the sticker right here saying all the information about the sunglasses, Acne Studio Mustang, sunglasses, white, and black and these are from the spring summer 17 collection and that official retail of 320. Now I absolutely love how this box is designed. I just open it slides open like this, which I've never seen a pair of sunglasses come like this. So this slides all the way out, which is really nice and it's really solid, like really solid construction for the packaging. 
So you open it up like that. And then here is the actual case that it comes in. Before we get back into the sunglasses, I just wanna get into the packaging from opening ceremony. If you guys have never been to opening ceremony, every time you buy something, they give you this little tote bag that just says opening ceremony in this really cool uh, dark blue kind of purple and light blue with the red, which is really dope. Like some people actually use this as a bag. It's, I feel like it would break, but it's a really nice touch and they even like, like gift wrapped it. I thought that was really cool. So I just wanted to show the bag this comes in. We get a little up close. Opening ceremony established 2002. But yeah, so inside the box, besides the actual sunglasses, you get this little tiny envelope, which is like really small as you could see, just as opening ceremony, the same logo. And all this actually holds is the receipt from opening ceremony, as you could see, which is a pretty cool touch in my opinion. It's just a little envelope for your receipt. Don't want to lose this in case I ever sell these. You just have more wrapping paper and then underneath it you have an Acne Studios microfiber cloth which actually says Acne Studios on it. In this other envelope right here, I actually don't know if I've opened this. This is just a little packet describing the sunglasses and, and the specific lenses and how to clean them and it says handmade in France. That's all the packaging right there. I really enjoy how well constructed this is and it's very minimal which I like and just slide that put it to the side now let's get into the actual glasses case now this is just this just comes with the price tag of the glasses i don't think you're going to be buying a pair of these for 18 bucks that have this really nice genuine leather case for your sunglasses which is actually very plush it's like leather that's also cushioned and this is really really nice leather like it's it basically feels the same as the leather on the tongue of my Rico and Geo baskets right here. Just to give you an idea of how high quality this feels. And it's pretty basic, just folds over like this with the magnet and just all black that says Acne Studios on the front in silver. So as you can see, you just slide out the sunglasses like this. But what's a really nice feature is that when the sunglasses go inside, the other side of this is actually like a microfiber material. So every time you put these away, it's always cleaning off the lenses, which I think is really smart and innovative. But that's basically it for the case. Put that away. So here they are. These are the sunglasses in all their glory. And in the reflection, you can actually see my light boxes. So they're all plastic. They're not too heavy, but they're pretty thick plastic, as you can see from the actual sides and stuff. It's a really high quality plastic, though. Glossy finish and just these pretty see-through gray black lenses. They aren't too dark. So like when you actually see rappers wearing these inside, it's not totally ridiculous you're not totally blind inside it's not like super super dark lenses but people do look at you like you're a douchebag wearing sunglasses inside the sunglasses themselves are pretty minimal and the only actual branding of, of acne studios is on the inside right here the only real indication of any branding on these sunglasses is this this really faint acne studios writing and you got a really solid construction with these silver hinges on the sides. Looking on the inside of the sunglasses, you have a pretty small nose piece. It's just this like slight plastic, as you could see. It's very, very hard to actually notice unless you're in person. Now you're probably wondering why these don't come with a hard case to protect a $320 pair of sunglasses. The case itself is pretty padded, so I don't think you would need a hard case for these. Anyways, guys, there's not much more to say about these sunglasses. Very simple, but very, very cool. Acne Studios, Mustang, sunglasses. I'll have many, many links down below to where you can buy these sunglasses and cheaper alternatives if you wanna check them out. For example, like the Urban Outfitters glasses that I will show you guys right after this one. I'll do a comparison video, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this was my detailed review on these sunglasses. If you enjoyed the video, comment your thoughts down below and what just what you think in general about these sunglasses, if you think they're fire or if you just think they're whack but i'm going to show you guys what these look like on my face outside and i'll head out of here so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like down below and i'll see you in the next video guys jason gerberg signing out peace